Hi, welcome to Keswick. Glasses have all got rain on them. Um, I did come out two weeks ago to do what I'm attempting to do today in this little adventure. Um, and that's from Hannes to Slate Mine. Move up into the hills. I find the two buffies. Uh, one's called Dubs Buffy, I forget the name of the other. And spend the night in there. And I came out, uh, yeah, two weeks ago. Uh, yeah, in between them two storms that we had. And it wasn't the weather that put me off, it was the road uh, alongside Derwent Water was pretty uh, flooded. And because we were due that night a load more rain, I didn't want to get flooded in. Uh, so I cancelled it uh, and headed home. Um, but today it's a bit rainy. It's going to be very misty and, and rainy up there. But we'll continue walking around here then we'll head off to Honest Slate Mine. Hopefully you can hear me, that's us at Hollister Mine now. It's about 11 o'clock, half 11, I'm going to start pushing up into the hills. Got the mine down there, out the wind here for a bit. You can see where they've dug in on these little bits here going up there. Oh, we're just going up this windy path now. Short, sharp from the Honister State Mine. Short, sharp. But we're up amongst the clouds, whizzing by. As you can tell, it's pretty windy up here. Stop raining, Bo. We're just on the mooch. There's a few people out, seen a few people over there. Um, I think Red Pike's up that way. But we're still in the clouds. And every now and again, the wind just piles through. Clears the old cobwebs out. So this is Dub's Buffy, the, the bigger of the two, and this is the first one from uh, Honest Slate Mine. You've got two big admin sleeping areas, you've got a fire come stove, that they do work, and this Buffy and the other one, which I can't remember the name, but the name's going to be here, 
we have a CO2 monitor. Um, as usual, people leave bits and bobs. Um, however, don't leave anti gas canisters, it's pointless. There is a Vistas book. However, I haven't got a pen and I thought there'd be one here, so I can't sign that. So, this is Dubs Boffy. If there's a few of you, uh, maybe head to this one. I'm going to head out in a bit to the other Boffy, but I've just found a really beautiful uh, wild camping spot for when it's better weather. Nice view out the window. I should have said at the start, but it was hammering down and windy. I parked my car in Honister, slate mine, the overnight parking, which is 15 brick, 15 quid. Uh, a bit pricey, but uh, helps keep that place going, I suppose. And then it's a very, very sharp climb, a uh, bit twisty. Make sure you, you, do, you follow the route, because if you keep staying on the, on the slate metal track, it'll take you up to Red Pike. You have got to do a left to get down here. Just follow the map and you'll get here. But it's quite a big boffy. Quite nice. Now we're going to be going down the hill, and you can hear me, and crossing the river just there. That river stream runs into Buttermere, which is round the corner. And when I talked about wild camping, I'm definitely coming back here, down there in the warmer weather. Looks absolutely amazing. Definitely coming back there. But this is the Boffy. Quite well with the slates, looks beautiful. Even in this greyish weather, it kind of um, enhances it, makes it look even more pretty. So we've come down now, Dub's hut is just up there. And this is what I was on about the wild camping spot for better weather. Definitely gonna be back here, coming there this year. Um, I can just imagine the sunsets. Anyway, we're gonna move down to this river now. Um, I'll give you the name when I get there, or it'll appear. Um, but it runs into Buttermere. And then I think we're following it round. But the wind's picked up again, so I'm going to put the camera away. Watch where I'm going. Much smaller this one. I think the rucksack's going to have to come off to get underneath here. Come to this little open bit. Then again, you've got another low door. A lot smaller, one scale boffy. Normal little um, board. It's got the CO2 monitor. Loads of hooks and places to hang up your stuff. And you've got two benches. And my rucksack was very heavy because I brought a load of. Uh, fire lighters I've got a load of wood kindling wood in there then I've brought I bought these from B&M's fire logs so this is one of the reasons why most people come here my cheap glasses are all bent is this for you check this out Bottom here, then is it Scotum? Some of like that, Scotum, beyond. 
absolutely stunning. Toasty. Just got here early about half one quarter to two and Buttermere is so close. I mean it looks far away in the camera, but it's really not. Um, it's like Piccadilly Circus. Uh, people coming in with the dogs just to stop off. So I've just had a brew and I haven't set up yet, obviously it's too early, I do that the next few hours. Um, and the fire logs have been going well, but I've had one on, that seems to be doing well. Um, but I've just been on the way here, obviously I, sp I, sp I noticed some places to camp. I just knocked another little place just down there, see if I can show you. That ledge there. It's about 15 metres from here. Uh, I'm not sure how well you're hearing me with the wind. Um, but it's a bit here with obviously lovely views. But I'm going to get back in out this wind. And I keep banging my head. So make sure you do bang your head. But that's not going to make it out. Smoke coming out the chimney. Very homely. I'll show you later, but with these fires, it's like any stove fire. You have a little lever, this one's here, which opens and closes the flue. So when you light it, have it, uh, I have it one or two ways, I'm not too sure. Uh, but once it's lit, I then open it up so the smoke goes up the chimneys. Yeah, so I have it closed to light so the oxygen is down here. So it starts to burn. And once it's lit, I open up the flue and that then lets the smoke go out. So make sure... If you're using one of these or the one in Butts Buffet, that's got a little lead on it as well that you open and close the fire. Just to stop any carbon monoxide. This is what I was on about before having the flue open. So you can see it there now, the fire being drawn up. If I close it, that sound goes and you can start seeing the smoke coming this way. So make sure you have the flue open. So it's like that. And then you have smoke coming out the top. Very important uh, if you're in boffies and there's fires and no temptation is just to, just to light it. But you've got to make sure the smoke's going through the flue into the chimney. It's definitely a popular boffy. Um, Again, just listen to the football. I think about I've had five pe five groups come in to take the to get the photograph behind me or bottom here. <laughs> uh, so it's one of these you've got to be prepared to share with your boffies. I'm hoping I have it to myself tonight. I really do. Um, but if I've got to share, I'll share. And it's also that what time do you get here? So I got here about I don't know about half two, a bit earlier than that actually, about two ish. Um, but I've, I haven't unpacked everything's bar my cooking stuff everything's still behind me in bags um, all I've done is unpack my, my cooking stuff to make a brew or two uh, so people have been coming in so there's a couple there or well, the latest group just leaving down there now heading down towards Buttermere so it's a popular boffy again easiest way is coming straight up from Buttermere direction parking up by the hotel maybe down there but well, that fire's banging out some heat. So, uh, just waiting for the Liverpool game to come on. Weather's gone really icky now, and it's coming up to half four. Um, I don't know whose sleeping bags these are, these are here. I'm hoping people haven't left them, and they're left here 
for when people need them. You know, if you're coming in here now, bedraggled and wet, and you were caught out, you could use that. But I'm going to use one of them uh, to put on on down on the old bench. There's no nails sticking up, so that's fine. I'll put me thermal mat down first, um, and then I just got my usual sleeping bag, sleeping bag line that I use for the winter, and me. Uh, my uh, sorry, my sleeping mat. But I'm going to sleep over this side because there is a bit of a breeze coming through this uh, window, and the wind is coming straight from bottom here. But it's coming to half four, so I don't think we'll get anyone else, especially with the way the weather's gone. It's horrible out there. Um, but we're going to have some dinner soon, and then we'll settle for the night. Burgers tonight with a bit of onion. Well, my second burger's cooking. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's blowing an absolute gale outside. Oh, the camera up my van. It's very breezy now. Um, it's about half five. Right. And two people have just joined me, so it's going to be snug in there tonight. Uh, so I won't spill me any more after this. Breezy, um, very gusty, a bit windy, uh, but it's nice. All right, I'm gonna get sorted out, grab my space, uh, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Uh, it's super windy last night and it continues to be windy. There's not many views this morning. Put me down there. I'm not sure if you can hear me really. Um, I'm going to have breakfast now and then I'm going to pack up um, with the two guests. Really enjoyable night last night actually. Really enjoyable having a bit of company but I'm not going to do much talking so I'm going to have some breakfast, chimney's going, which means the fire's on, and then get out of here. All right. Last look at the view, despite the weather. Right, we're heading back now. Bergen's a lot lighter than there was coming in, because I'm not carrying all that wood. But I am carrying a lot of rubbish. Again, leave no trace. I brought in loads of perishable foods that have just been left in there. And it says in there there's rats and mice that are after the food. Uh, empty gas canisters and all sorts. Just bring the rubbish out, you people. No one else is going to do it, bar people like me. Anyway, I'm not a saint, but I just don't like leaving rubbish. Anyway, route. I'm going to go back over the hill, pick up the track, cross the river, and head to Dub's Hut. We'll pick up the 4x4 track again uh, into Honister. Basically, the same route we came in. All right, then. Let's pick our way up. This hill. Well, I've recrossed the river now, and Dub's hut is behind me. 
what I should have said yesterday, that's where we crossed there and it's like stepping stones. Um, they might be covered if the river's a bit more in full spate. Now there's a map will take you up there and then it will drop down to Bob's Hut but it's super scrambly. 20 metres crossing you'll see a prominent track going up the way from the edge of the side there. That will take you to Dub, bang on Dub's Hut. Um, it's very difficult to see. If someone's in there now out of 10, the first impression you'll have will be smelling the smoke. Uh, but that's the best way I think to dub so unless you're into the unless you're into the scrambling then by all means go that way <laughs> so dub so just up here you might be able to see the apex of it just going to get up there now and then we're moving on again